he best thing you can do for your health. There are hundreds of fad diets and conflicting information flooding the web, making you wonder what are the best things to eat and do for optimal health and the prevention of sickness. According to Western medical research, diseases are a result of the host being infected with a germ, virus, or bacteria. In their approach in treating these infestations, inorganic, carcinogenic chemicals are employed. In contrast, as Dr. Sebi examined an African approach to disease, it diametrically opposed the present Western approach. Specifically, the African biomineral balance refutes the germ-slash-virus-slash-bacteria premise. His research revealed that all manifestation of disease finds its genesis when and where the mucous membrane has been compromised. For example, if there is excess mucus in the bronchial tubes, the disease is bronchitis, if it is in the lungs, the disease is pneumonia, in the pancreatic duct, it is diabetes, in the joints, arthritis. To make it even easier for you, we boiled down the information in Dr. Sebi's methodology in the five best tried and true things you can do to regain optimal health and prevent all sort of mucus-related diseases. The best tips from Dr. Sebi's methodology is from www.veganchoicefoods.com, the home of basic and Dr. Sebi-approved herbs. Eat close to nature, as your ancestors did. Eating should not be rocket science, and we all tend to overcomplicate things. So let's strip it down to the basics. Our ancestors knew what was good for them, before Western medicine stuck its nose in our diets and, consequently, in our health. Stick to the foods prescribed in Dr. Sebi's nutritional guide and you'll be golden. Be consistent. Consistency is key. Sadly, one week of eating like a health god slash goddess won't erase three weeks of eating like a kid in a candy shop. Dr. Sebi did not believe in eating bad things, sugar, hybrids, animal products, alcohol, coffee, etc., in moderation because even the smallest quantity of those substances can mess up the alkaline environment that it's optimal for healing, so you should completely abstain from the foods that do not appear on Dr. Sebi's nutritional guide. Drink more water. The odds are, you are not drinking enough water. Dr. Sebi's advocated for one gallon of spring water daily, so start chugging. Detox and replenish. Due to years of bad eating habits, the cells in your body have accumulated toxins, which causes inflammation, mucus, fatigue, and eventually, potentially mortal diseases. The African Biomineral Balance in Dr. Sebi's approved herbs products will detoxify each cell and replenish depleted minerals so that rebuild and rejuvenation can take place. Visit www.veganchoicefoods.com Stay away from refined sugar. Dr. Sebi regarded sugar as one of the worst things you could put in your body, so stay away from it completely. Date sugar, dates and agave syrup are allowed. Make your transition easier by joining Vegan Choice Foods Family YouTube channel. You'll find tons of delicious journal, tips and so much more. What is the Dr. Sebi diet, and does it work? This controversial and strict plant-based diet was created by the late Dr. Sebi. Proponents claim that it reduces the risk of disease when coupled with specific supplements sold on the diet's website. Dr. Sebi believed that mucus and acidity caused disease. He held that eating certain foods and avoiding others could detoxify the body, achieving an alkaline state that could reduce the risk and effects of disease. The Dr. Sebi diet is not approved by official sources, and no scientific evidence shows that it can prevent or treat medical conditions. Plant-based diets can benefit health under some conditions, but the Dr. Sebi diet may not include enough key nutrients to keep the body healthy. This article looks into the diet and its potential benefits and risks. Alfredo Bowman, better known as Dr. Sebi, was a self-proclaimed healer and herbalist. He was self-educated, he was not a medical doctor and held no PhD. An obituary describes his controversial health claims, such as curing AIDS and leukemia. These and similar assertions resulted in a 1993 lawsuit that ended with the court ordering Dr. Sebi's organization to stop making these claims. Dr. Sebi reportedly died in 2016 in police custody. What is the Dr. Sebi diet? Dr. Sebi believed the Western approach to disease to be ineffective. 
He held that mucus and acidity, rather bacteria and viruses, for example, cause disease. A main theory behind the diet is that disease can only survive in acidic environments. The aim of the diet is to achieve an alkaline state in the body in order to prevent or eradicate disease. How to follow the diet Dr. Sebi's nutritional guide includes a number of rules, such as Only eat foods listed in the guide. Drink one gallon of natural spring water daily. Avoid animal products, hybrid foods, and alcohol. Avoid using a microwave, which will kill your food. Avoid canned and seedless fruits. The Dr. Sebi diet involves eating vegetables, including avocado, kale, bell peppers, and wild arugula. Fruits, including apples, bananas, dates, and Seville oranges. Grains, including rye, wild rice, spelt, and quinoa. Oils, including avocado, hemp seed, coconut, and olive oils, though the diet advises against using the latter two in cooking. Nuts and seeds, including hemp and raw sesame seeds, tahini butter, and walnuts. Herbal teas, including chamomile, fennel, and ginger varieties. Natural sweeteners, including agave syrup and date sugar. Spices, including cayenne and powdered seaweed. There is a lack of any scientific evidence to support the Dr. Sebi diet. However, research indicates that a plant-based diet can benefit health. There are also risks to consider, which we discuss in the next section. Some health benefits of plant-based diets may include Weight loss, a 2015 study concluded that a vegan diet resulted in more weight loss than other, less restrictive diets. Participants lost up to 7.5% of body weight after six months on a vegan diet. Appetite control, a 2016 study in young male participants found that they felt more full and satisfied after eating a plant-based meal containing peas and beans than a meal containing meat. Altering the microbiome, the term microbiome collectively refers to the microorganisms in the gut. A 2019 study trusted source found that a plant-based diet could alter the microbiome favorably, leading to less risk of disease. However, confirming this will require more research. Reduced risk of disease, a 2017 review trusted source concluded that a plant-based diet may reduce the risk of coronary heart disease by 40% and the risk of developing metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes by half. The Dr. Sebi diet encourages people to eat whole foods and avoids processed foods. A study trusted source from 2017 found that reducing the intake of processed food would improve the nutritional quality of the general diet in the United States.